My name is Kristen Pyle. I live in Ames, Iowa. I farm just south of Colo, Iowa, and we farm corn and soybeans. I grew up on a farm in North Carolina. And it, was, it was a great place to run around, grow up. I got to tinker with tractors and uh, do that kind of thing with my dad. Uh, I'm Bill Tucker. Uh, I did cardiac surgery for 25 years. Um, while living on the farm, when I retired from that, we moved out here and have been farming here in Iowa since. There's several reasons, I guess, that we came. I, I like to say that the most important reason was the best soil in the world, black soil. I have two sisters um, and I'm the only one that lives in Iowa and that has really expressed interest in taking over the farm when my dad no longer wants to or is able to do it. Right now I'm here trying to learn as much as I can from him so that that can be a smooth transition. Well, I, I think Kristen has learned uh, very little from me. She came equipped with, uh, with what she needed. Now, you know, Kristen grew up on the farm. She knew how to drive the tractors. Uh, Basically, she's been teaching me about the new technologies and, and stuff. Um, I don't know that I've been able to teach her anything. Uh, uh, moving to farming is a career change, and I wanted to take it seriously, and I wanted them to know that I was serious about approaching it and learning all aspects of it and, and really becoming a part of it, not just sort of riding on coattails. He has three daughters um, and he's treated us just the way he would if he had three sons. We were out there working on lawnmowers and tractors and getting dirty growing up. And when it came time to bale hay, we were out there um, either driving the tractor, helping pick up. Um, we had a couple of, of cousins down the road and, and these guys loved to farm and they would come offer to my dad to help. Um, and he said, oh, I, I, don't, I don't need any help. I've, I've got three kids that can help. So uh, he's always been really good about that. And um, it's, I appreciate learning everything I can from him. Honestly, I'm not challenged at all by the number of male operators out there or by being in a male dominated industry. I picked engineering right off the bat and that is definitely male dominated. In most of the engineering offices I've ever worked in, I was the only woman or possibly there was one other one. So that's never been something at all um, bothering to me. I definitely came by the Agco trait naturally. Uh, my father is a big Agco fan and has, has had Alice Chalmers tractors growing up. And then when I was growing up, we had Alice Chalmers and Agco tractors. Well, we have a sunflower drill and sunflower soil finisher. Um, and we have a white planter. We have quite a few Agco tractors and we have the new gleaner. I am very impressed with the Gleaner, definitely, as, as a piece of machinery. I have a little bit of a background in mechanical engineering as well as civil engineering, and I know from the little experience I have with design work how much time and energy and how many iterations and how many calculations and how much testing went into making such a great product. I used it for the first time last fall. I was very impressed with the tweaks that I was able to make as the user, as the consumer, um, to be able to actually adjust, and that as a piece of equipment, it responded. Overall, I know how much time and energy and effort it goes into making a piece of equipment like this work together, and uh, it's, it's quite an engineering feat, definitely. Mm -hmm.